Woody Skid, JVG, Six Figure Sneakerhead, SixFigureSneakerhead.com. Today I'm going to talk a little bit more about Craigslist. Um, because Craigslist is a good way to start. Um, it's a good way to network. It's a good way to find a plug. But um, there are <clears throat> there's really just one very important key to Craigslist, which is to well, there are a couple. One is to be safe and trust your gut. Two is to stay true to your word and try to be the best, um, either the best buyer or the best seller that the person has ever dealt with. Just be memorable because you never know who you're going to find on Craigslist. Like you might find someone who is basically a plug, but like, so a couple tips. If you're trying to negotiate a price, don't be offensive about it, but be reasonable. Like, don't super lowball, but then don't be afraid to ask a price that you're going to make a profit on. Um, and two, um, stay super true to your word. So if you're going to be somewhere at 1 o'clock, be there at 1 o'clock and um, have the money. Don't flake. Be very communicative. And then um, doing that stuff builds trust, you know? If you have a very pleasant transaction with someone, they're going to remember you, and they might hook you up with other things. Um, <clears throat> so, Because, yeah, if someone is a potential like, plug, they're not going to tell you that up front. They don't want to tell that to a flaky person because they don't want to waste their time. But, like, if you prove that you're someone that's not a waste of time and you meet someone who's, like, a plug, and then you are one of the best customers they've ever dealt with, they might eventually hook you up. So there's that. Um, and then on being safe, um, I got robbed on Craigslist once, like gunpoint, like in a public place, like right next to a fucking drive through It's insane. So you have to go at great lengths, like, well, it was like over $1,000. So like, when the money goes up, the higher likelihood of you being robbed it is. But also, you know, more more profit, whatever. But I've done successful like five hundred to a thousand plus dollar transactions in person. Um, one way is accepting money or sending payment through PayPal. Um, if that's not a possibility, then you can meet inside the lobby of a bank. Or right outside of a police station. And then um, make sure if, if you're the seller and you're afraid of being robbed. Or either way, get a description of the person. And just be like, like me, I'll be like, I'm, I'm wearing a backwards white hat. Whatever. And then ask them what they're like, you know, backwards white hat, white Chevy, whatever. Say what kind of car you're in, etc. And then have them say the same thing. And then maybe if you're like, if you feel weird about it, you're going to take my hat off and then I'll look for the person who matches that description. They look okay. And you're going to be like, okay, here it is. And then be recognized, etc. But um, yeah, basically be pleasant to deal with and be as safe as possible. Because if someone really wants to buy or sell, they won't mind meeting in a bank lobby or a police station. So that's it. Just a couple tips. I'll have, uh, I'll talk about like online stuff, uh, next video about bots and, um, securing pairs online, etc. So see you guys next time. Until then, peace.